This video contains general guidance to help you care for your cat after surgery. However, if any of it differs from what your vet team has told you, follow their advice which will be specific to your cat and call them with any questions. Take your cat straight home in a secure carrier and let them rest in a quiet, comfortable area away from children, animals and noise. Unless your vet has recommended a special food, feed them their normal food in small quantities regularly. If they're not keen to eat, try warming it or offer them some plain cooked chicken breast or white fish. Provide a litter tray they can get in and out of easily, filled with litter that won't get stuck to any wounds. They might not poo for a couple of days, but they should wee normally. If they're having medication, use our meds chart to keep track and set alarms to remind you when they're due the next dose. If they have stitches, use a cone recovery collar, an inflatable collar or a protective bodysuit like this to make sure they can't lick them. Just make sure they can't reach round. You might notice they have shaved areas, but don't worry, their fur will grow back. Go to all their checkup appointments, even if they seem fine. You should contact your vet practice with any concerns at all. Important things to look out for include low energy for over 48 hours, pain or discomfort, being extremely tired and unable to stand, problems toileting, any redness, swelling, bleeding or discharge around wounds, vomiting, diarrhoea or refusing to eat for more than 24 hours.